after after that epic intro, my game crashed. Just going to the U9 portal. Thank you, Tro. God damn it. <laughs> Be sure to let me know which character I should do to get to 20,000 power rank in the next episode. I forgot to t uh, to tell you in this intro in this video. Sorry. Rest in pepperonis. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I am your host Jornetto and today it is another 20k PR video. This time as you saw in the intro it is the 20k PR Boomeranger. It is 20,011 power rank. As you're seeing 20,011 power rank with the stat as follow. 231 713 physical damage. The reason being is that Boomeranger I believe it, it has a plus 15 base physical damage or I believe is 10% I don't know I don't, I don't remember I got a maximum well technically don't I don't have maximum attack speed because I don't have two pearls on every piece of gear with attack speed I do have attack speed gear but it is 232 I am missing 10% I believe 45 jumps which is a lot 61.1% uh, critical hit which is low and 1322 critical damage my gems are as follow the reason my boomeranger was i believe 18,800 powering or 900 powering is because i have a two star class gem that's why i did not level up in the intro because it is a two star class gem i would like a new one still here are my gems this one is a 2-1 physical damage i do believe this is, like I said before, it is a 2 star class gem, 1 physical damage, 1 critical damage. This is a 2 1 crit damage, 2 1 physical, 2 1 crit damage, 2 1 physical, 2 1 crit damage. I believe this one is 3 physical, but the power rank is a little bit low, so that's why you will. You won't see like amazing stat in the physical, but I do believe this one is a 3 physical. And this is 2 1 physical. I do use in critical damage attacks with gears as you saw right here. I do have <laughs> oh, that is so pathetic. Like most of my gear barely have any pearls, and I got all. That's another reason my powering was a little bit low. It's because this character I don't use it like barely like at all. I'll tell you why in a bit. But I do use critical. Uh, critical damage attacks with gear same thirst and magic find critical head and physical damage i do have a, a jump ring that's why i have 45 jump 46 i don't remember that's why i have 40 plus jump that that is and i'm using the little birdie ally normally i switch between this one and the rat berserker but since this character is pretty much mostly based around cooldown i use the little birdie ally but Using Rat the Berserker probably is a little bit better because it does help a lot due to the heal. And I use Sure Strike and Marshall. Reason Marshall because this character, like all characters, this does help a lot, but this character more in particular because this character does have pretty low DPS. So more damage is very helpful and critical 20% critical hit due to Sure Strike. Is always helpful because I do have 60% critical hit. Before upgrading, I did have like 53%, so I gained quite a bit of critical hit, so that's nice. And Conjure's Crucible Buy because reasons. That uh, is always the <laughs> class that I will use while grinding Unite Dungeons. And I use the Knight Subclass. The Knight Subclass is always useful for characters that don't use movement speed. So let's get started with the Boomeranger. What do I think about this character? Hmm. It is a tough choice because I'm definitely going to have a tough time uh, naming this episode. Reason being is... I barely use this class. I don't have a lot of experience with this class. It's one of, those, it's one of the classes that I barely have any experience. And there's a reason being because this is one of those classes that... That yeah, end game doesn't help out a lot. Uh, this class uh, end game doesn't really help out a lot. Uh, but hold on, give me a sec. 
Like this controller, I'm using the other controller, my old controller, but uh, look at this. I'm pressing up on the right stick. Yeah, it is like registering my left trigger for some odd reason. Give me a sec. What do I think about the Boomeranger? The Boomeranger is one class that, start off, that starts off really, really good, but rapidly falls up. Okay, that's a T-Rex. Like, rapidly falls up in the DPS department. This is one of the weakest DPS characters in the game, unfortunately. Because the strongest attack, because it is probably his basic attack. And the basic attack from the Boomeranger is good, don't get me wrong. But is not the strongest nor the fastest. Especially on melee mode, which is probably the mode that you should be using the most. And only range mode if you're going for Shadow Towers. Because this class does use both the bow and the melee mode, but in this particular I always use melee mode you probably just see me destroy everything in U9 because even though this character does have pretty low DPS it is still powerful enough that can destroy U9 especially if you're over 20,000 power rank if you're over 20,000 power rank you can do well with any character but this class is one of the weakest class out there, unfortunately. Hi. <laughs> the DPS is among the lowest in the game. Is it's kind of kind of sad because it is a cool class. It has a cool concept. I can see a lot of people use this class, especially in the beginning portion of the game, because this is one of the those five starter classes, and. And this class is actually not too bad, especially in the beginning of the game, because the DPS is not the highest, but it's not the lowest. It still does everything that you want for a, a character, because it is a class that does use both the melee and bow, because it, uh, meaning that it can be both close range and long range. And the DPS is not affected by much because the damage is not that high. Uh, the damage that you do is not that high, but once you get into the end game, that's when you're going to see the character falls a lot. Because it does 1.85 times damage. I do believe it is the multiplier. It is the same as the Candy Barbarian. Which, don't get me wrong, the Candy Barbarian's basic attack is good, but the Candy Barbarian does have a lot more base physical damage than this character, so... It's weaker than the Candy Barbarian in that respect. It's definitely weaker than the Knights, because the Knight is probably the best in terms of DPS for melee characters. And it is better than the Neon Ninja in terms of basic attack, but the Neon Ninja does have a shuriken once you have high critical hit. The Neon Ninja just destroys uh, destroys everything because it has a lot of one-shot potential. This character does not have a lot of one-shot potential because the ultimate ability is random and which ability you get. The big bomb or the class gem equivalent bog bomb, you can tell that the damage from the explosion barely does any damage. I believe it's like three times damage the explosion then the chickens barely do any damage unfortunately the the only good thing is that that explosion right there that ultimate ability with the uh, with the bombs it is honestly the best thing out there because that in itself does ridiculous amounts of damage I believe that each and every single bomb does like five times damage and it summons like six of them so one incredibly high burst damage will kill pretty much a lot of things. Has the potential of being the strongest raw multiplier ability in the game, but it is random. It is one in four chances, so it has a 25% chance of spawning. I'm not saying that this class is bad, by all means. Like, this class can be good, this class can be effective, but it is 
weaker in every sense of the in every sense of the word weaker than pretty much every class in the game. Basic attack, the knight is better. Uh, the first ability, meaning the 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 first ability that you get at level one, the knight literally has the best one. Or the knight or the candy barbarian. I'm talking about like starting classes by the way the bombs the big bombs is good for utility because you can use this to get yourself a lot of ores and this will help a lot because it is technically free bombs but the damage is just pretty low so it doesn't have any uh, mobility so yeah the candy bar brain has it a lot better than I as well and also the neon ninja has it better because they are all of them their mobility and the ultimate ability meaning it, it does a lot of damage but it is a chance so the candy bar bearing is a lot better because it's guaranteed that you throw a cone and pfft, destroy life so yeah this class just pretty much is subpar in every single fashion and once you get into the end game you will definitely feel it because since, like I said before, it is subpar in every single category. It is the DPS is not the highest on any ability. The only strong ability is random. The chickens that you can tell they do like half the da uh, half my damage. Well, half the damage of the basic attack. So I believe they do like 0.75 times damage or 0.66. So they don't even do like one times damage each chicken from the class gym. If we're talking about the chicken from the ultimate ability, the chicken from the ult does over one times damage. I believe they do like 1.5, but the chicken from the class gym does a lot less damage. And yeah, that's all I had to say with this class. It's honestly one of the weakest classes in the game. It is good, you can use it at any portion of the game, but if you, if you want to use a really good starter class, just go with the Knight or the Candy Barbarian. Because they both of them have better utility in every sense, uh, like everywhere in like any portion of the game. You can use this one, like free bombs, to get into dungeons fast if you don't have a lot of bombs. But that's about it. The boomerang is good because it does help out in the cooldown reduction department. But for the most part, uh, most of the ability have really short cooldown. And yeah, that's all I, all I have to say. Anyways, how do you, how do I use this character? Normally, I would like to use this character as an attack speed crit damage class instead of going with movement speed due to the low dps and pretty much all that you want is high as high dps as possible from a basic attack so the basic attack is your main attacking tool with this class so it does so you want as much attack speed as possible and you want the most amount of crit damage as possible because you want to be dealing the highest damage possible because of the DPS being so low and you probably see me like destroying you now and be like what are you talking what are you talking about what is wrong with you the boomeranger is one of the best class in the game no it is unfortunately it's not that's why you don't see it ba you barely see anyone in the end game using the boomeranger it's because of this one a lot of people use it because they like the class and I can understand why because this class can be fun to use but is unfortunately subpar in terms of DPS and everything especially in the end game you will definitely notice in, in Shadow Towers but I use attack speed critical damage I would recommend you to use attack speed critical damage you don't need any energy regen because this uh, this is a cooldown based character so it doesn't need any energy well it doesn't use any energy so the, the energy is zero at completely um, I don't use movement speed because movement speed is 
only good for it with classes that have a lot of one shot potential. This class does not have a lot of one shot potential. So yeah, if you lower the attack speed, you're pretty much just screwed even more in DPS. Um, I don't remember what the, uh, this was sound. So yeah, critical damage, attack speed, go melee mode 100% pretty much if you're going with dungeon because it is a lot more reliable, it does a lot more DPS. Well, technically around the same but the DPS feels a little bit better in melee mode. Use the boomerang as much as possible. I'm not using it because again my basic attack does more than enough to kill U9 bosses. But use your boomerang because it does help out in cooldown. A lot with the cooldown reduction with this class and use big bombs if you want. If you don't have the classroom then pfft, just throw big bombs if you want because the big bomb barely does any damage and obviously throw your ultimate on cooldown against bosses and throw it directly at the boss. There's one thing there is a concept uh, well it's not a misconception because it is true. Um, the boomeranger does have a lot of knockback and it is only on the ultimate ability and only on a specific angle. So if you hit the enemy directly uh, with the ultimate ability directly below uh, and if it spawns all the bombs, like all the all of the bombs that does the most amount of DPS, and if you don't kill the boss, the boss is gonna send flying towards uh, across the map because all of those bombs can cause knockback, and you can send bosses flying like really far away. It is unreal. And. Yeah, as you were saying, uh, yeah, throughout whole, this whole recording, I only gotten like one of one time the bombs. If you could choose whichever you want, then this class would have been a lot better because you can actually build your character towards your ultimate ability, so you can throw down the most bomb possible. But unfortunately, the ultimate ability being random, it is pretty bad. But yeah, that is all with the boomeranger. Thank you for watching, let me know what you think of the boomeranger in the comments below. Also, if you have a boomeranger, tell me which power rank are you? Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and that is all for today, I need to complete that dungeon. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time, take care and keep on hunting. And remember, this character is good, it's pretty good, but it falls a lot in DPS. So don't expect to be in the top DPS possible with this character. See ya.